Hello and Namaste everyone. This is your friend Jitendra Pan. And in this video, we'll talk about how to write an email to a university professor to apply for a postdoc or PhD position. Guys, people who are into research would know it very well that how difficult it is to secure a research position. This becomes even more difficult when you are applying to foreign universities. If you know how to write an email effectively, it will save you a lot of trouble and can also help you to save a lot of money while making a formal application to the university. I have personally been involved in the recruitment process of a lot of researchers in the University of Georgia and from my personal experience, I know that professors also want to save a lot of time in hiring the right kind of people. But at the same time, it is very difficult to be noticed by them because they receive a lot of emails. That is why writing an effective email plays such an important role in the whole recruitment process. So let's get started with this video where I'll share some useful tips and also share a template with you that you can use in your PhD or postdoc application moving forward. First and foremost, subject line. Yes, subject line can play a far more important role than you can think of. It is especially true when you apply to a big lab or you apply to a professor who is very popular or famous in his or her field. Having a weak subject line can often become the reason to not get noticed at the very first place. Guys, you should treat the subject line as the trailer that is released before the movie. Like, you need a very good trailer to attract customers to the theater hall. A good subject line will attract the professor to check your email and get to know you a little better. So pay close attention to the subject line that you use in order to send your email. Here is an example that you can see where I have mention the experience and how it relates to the professor's research and also mention the name of the professor's lab in the subject line this will help you to create that first bonding that can be a reason for the professor to check and open your email it is a skill to sell yourself and you have to make sure that you make it easy for the professor to notice your application as fast as possible so highlight your publications and other credentials in the subject line Mentioning the name of the lab that you are applying to is equally important as I mentioned earlier as it will immediately catch a professor's attention when they read their own name in the subject line. So guys, I just told you how important a subject line is and how you can use the tools mentioned in this video to write a very catchy subject line and make that first impression. And now let us move on to Another most important thing in an email which is the introduction of the email. The email should be used in order to tell the professor that how did you come to know about their lab and how well do you fit their current expertise and the requirement of their lab. This is an opportunity for you to correlate your existing experience and your past experience with the current goals of the lab and also tell them what are your long term future goals. Well, Tell the professor that you have done your background research and this will also tell the professor that you are serious about what you are saying and you know what you are saying. So I am putting a template on the screen and let us go through it line by line. So guys as you can see on your screen the introduction is a perfect place for you to tell the professor who you are, whom do you currently work with, where do you work and how did you hear about the professor. Also tell the professor that you have been following their publications and mention a particular publication if you really liked it and if that inclines with your research area and your area of interest. Tell the professor that based on all these background information that you have been collecting for the past few weeks or months, you feel that you are a perfect fit for the lab requirement. Do not hesitate to let the professor know that you have attached your CV where they can find more details about you. Also make use of this opportunity to tell the professor about a specific project that you are interested in. And some of you might say that you might be interested in more than one project. Some of you might not be sure which particular project do you want to work on. It's okay to just mention more than one project in the introduction to play it safe.
so guys i just told you how to write an impressive subject line and how to write an impressive introduction and with this let us move on to the next most important parameter which is the mid body the mid body should be used to highlight your credentials and one of the most effective way to highlight your credentials is to use bullet points this not only makes it easy for you to mention your credentials separately but it also makes it easy for the professor to follow through the email some of the people might argue that it is not advisable or it might sound arrogant if you talk pridefully about your accomplishments but in my humble opinion let me say it again in my humble opinion there is no harm in selling yourself because it is not only helping you but it is also saving a lot of time from professors and in order to get the right person for the position it also gives them a quick idea of whether or not shall they read your cv in details here is a template for you if you look at the screen in the first bullet point i have highlighted the number of publications that the applicant has in a particular field make sure that you tweak the words in this field for example here i have mentioned antimicrobial material and thrombosis you can tweak these words depending on the requirement of the lab but make sure that you are not lying about it you are only changing the wordings to match the advertisement second thing if you have won any awards or if you have any patent applications this is the perfect opportunity to mention that in bullet points third thing is if you have done any internship or if you have any research experience in academia or in industry or if you have done a full time job mention that as one of the bullet points you should also highlight the area of expertise that you have again the wordings of these area of expertise should vary depending on the lab that you are applying to and you can make small changes to these key words to match it with the advertisement but again the key rule is do not lie and finally if you have done some grant writing this can be a very valuable tool for you to get hired for a post or position because professors in their assistant position or in their associate position on the or in their full professorship has to write a lot of grants and they always want dependable postdoc that can write grants on their behalf or at least help them to write their grants if you also want to highlight that you have mentor undergraduate or graduate students during your phd or during your masters program this can be the perfect position for you to highlight them so guys as you learn from this video we talked about how to make a very good first impression through your subject line how to introduce yourself and also tell the professor how their lab research matches with your past experience through the introduction and how you can highlight your credentials in the mid body if you put everything together it will look something like this as you can see on the screen i have put together all the pieces and i have used it as a template to showcase you how you can effectively write an email but you have to also understand that you have to make your own judgment when you are writing an email these things are not set in stone please do not hesitate to make small changes depending on your current situation and depending on your past experiences and your future goals also i would look forward to hear from you if you have any suggestions or feedback on this video and please 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 write to me if this video helps you in future to get into your dream lab so ladies and gentlemen this is the time to leave and if you have already not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so soon and hit the bell icon to get instant notification until then all the best and goodbye thank you